I don't care if you're an old school trucker or a new school trucker. Just make sure that you follow me, you subscribe, you like my page, you like the video, you share it out to all of your friends. I'll tell you why. I believe in the trucking brotherhood and I don't think it's dead. So if you believe in the trucking brotherhood, share my videos, help this trucker out. Get on with the video. I haven't made one of these videos in a while. Welcome to Driving with John, by the way. I was driving today and I had a thought. And so I thought today I'm gonna pay a little respect to the people that came before me. Um, in the trucking industry, I don't think people respect the truckers that, you know, basically built this industry from scratch. And I think the reason why is they don't realize how much different it was. I mean, when I leave my house, you know, I leave and I, I say goodbye to my wife and my kids and I, you know, I go get in my truck and I start driving. And, you know, that night I can jump on video chat. I can watch Netflix with them while they're at home and I'm on the road and kind of communicate about shows. You know, it's, I'm not at home and it is a sacrifice. But, you know, in the old days, they didn't have cell phones. They didn't have video chat. They didn't have Netflix. When they left their house, it might be a day or two before they can find a pay phone to call home to talk to their wife. And then that call costs so much, it's probably a five minute conversation. Tell me all the big stuff, I gotta go. You know, it's not like it is now. Um, I'm, when it comes to the home front type of thing, these guys sacrificed so much to earn a living for their family. Like they didn't have a relationship with their kids. They didn't have a relationship with their wife. They didn't have really a way to communicate to even kind of maintain a relationship. They came out here on the road and they drove and they sacrificed everything for an industry now that doesn't even respect what they did. So I was thinking about it. What kind of things did they do differently then? Sorry, there's a guy backing into a spot across from me. That's why the strobe light's going off right now. Um, but. The things that they did that we don't do these days. I mean, there is so much. Think about it. When they were going down the highway and they blew, they threw a belt, you know, they got out, they got the spare belt that they carried in the truck with them. They put it on and they kept rolling. They didn't even, they didn't ask somebody. There was no cell phone to call to get someone to come help them. They had to do it. I mean, just that alone, an alternator, a starter, you know, a compressor, you know, they got a flat tire, they changed their own tire if they couldn't make it somewhere where they could get a new tire. They had a tire to change it to. You gotta realize, you know, what we call trucking today is a really pampered, babied, easy way to do trucking. And I'm not gonna lie and say, you know, I benefit from that, because I do. I'll be honest, I couldn't do what they do. I'm not mechanically inclined enough to change an alternator on the side of a highway. I'm just not. You know, without YouTube, I can do a lot of things on my truck because I have YouTube. I can look it up on how to do it. These guys didn't have YouTube. They learned it from their father or learned it from their uncle or learned it from their brother or learned it from another trucker. You know, somebody else would pull over and help them do something and now they knew how to do it. It's not like that these days. First of all, no one pulls over to help you. Second of all, you always got a phone. Help is just a phone call away. These guys didn't have that. Like... Let's pay some homage and show some respect to the older guys that are still driving and the ones that came before us. They built this industry. They made this industry as great as it is. You know, because of them, people like me get to come out and reap the benefits of the hard work they did. So, you know, I see a lot of disrespect to the old truckers out there and it really bothers me. I'm not saying I'm an old trucker. Guys, I've only been in the industry going on six years, okay? Yeah, I'm older, I got a gray beard, and you know, I'm I'm in my 50s, but I came into it much older than most people do, because I put it off because I wanted to be around for my wife and kids, because I understood that the sacrifices they were making, I wasn't willing to make. Now my kids are older, and they're moved out, and my wife is fine being at home, and I'm like, I want to chase a dream. I want to do this, and I love trucking. I think it's a great industry. But I think people come into it and they don't realize what made it possible for them to do their jobs. They're so pampered and spoiled. And I know people aren't gonna like this. 
the new truckers are gonna be like, oh, that's not true. And the old truckers are gonna be like, yeah, you guys are pampered and spoiled. But you know what, guys? The younger, us younger guys, on younger in the industry, not younger, as I said, um, we need to pay homage and pay respect to these guys. The crap that they went through, the sacrifices that they made to make this industry what it is today, we wouldn't be able to make the money we make if they wouldn't have sacrificed like they did. Now, I'm gonna also a little, little disclaimer in there. Yeah, you know, they ran it a little too hard, pushed themselves a little too hard. They probably were, you know, using some substances to keep themselves awake so they could run 24 or 48 hours straight. And I know what happened. I've talked to some old school drivers, but you know, that's why regulations had to come into effect. But I will say, you know, any old trucker, if they're being honest with you, they'll tell you, yeah, they skirted the rules quite a bit. But they'll also tell you that you have no idea what they went through. You have no idea what it's like to sit on the side of the road with no way to contact anybody when something breaks. You have no idea what it feels like to leave your house and not know what's going on. You know, <laughs> me and another trucker were talking today and that's kind of what got me fired up for this video. Can you imagine leaving your house and you're driving? You drive for two days, you can pick up the cell phone, or cell phone, yeah, listen to me, pick up a pay phone and you call home, you get like a five minute call because more than that's gonna be ridiculously expensive. And basically your call is to your wife or your kids. Hey, how's it going? Everything okay? Oh, great to hear. All right, love you. Talk to you in a couple more days and hang up. Well, guess what? There were a lot of truckers that came home after being out on the road and their spouses were gone. They had no idea there was a problem and now their spouse is gone. Or, you know, gone like left them, divorced them. Also, you know, hey, people have died, people got hurt, people were in the hospital. These guys had no idea, not until they got home. Could you imagine not knowing that your loved ones are in the hospital? You know, not planning a way home to be home to help them? These guys went through all of that. Like, the sacrifices that I'm talking about isn't just being able to change an alternator or the know-how or the training for, you know, some, some guys trained three, four, five months before they ever got out on their own. So, you guys, I'm I'm done ranting about this, but every new trucker that sees this video, every new trucker that should see this video, guys, pay some homage, pay some respect to these older guys that came before us, the guys that built this industry. Because, because they did what they did, that means we can do what we do. Guys, if no one else is gonna respect them, we should, 100%. If you're an older trucker and you're watching this, thank you. I appreciate your long years of service to this industry and paving a way for babies and morons like me. I'm not gonna lie about it. I really appreciate what you did. I really, really, really do. I don't think you reap the benefits of all your hard labor as much as we do. And for that, I will always appreciate and respect you guys. All right, enough, no fancy sign offs today. I appreciate everybody watching. And guys, don't forget to thank an old trucker because without them, you wouldn't be you. I'm talking to truckers, of course. See you on the next video. Take it easy, stay safe, keep on rolling. And if you're a retired trucker, guys, I just appreciate what you did. I couldn't imagine it, could not imagine it. Driving with Johnny is coming through! Mm-hmm.